Roy Moore, the uh, current Senate candidate for the Republican Party from Alabama to replace the Senate seat vacated by current Attorney General Jeff Sessions, uh, who also uh, uh, Moore happens to be the former uh, Chief Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court. He said in an interview with Time Magazine on Wednesday of this week that people, uh, the NFL players who are protesting uh, by kneeling during the national anthem, he said that we need to have them arrested uh, and thereby put in jail for exercising their First Amendment rights. Now, according to Roy Moore, who again was the Chief Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court, um, he believes that there is a law against disrespecting the national anthem of the United States. As it turns out, no, there's there's actually not. Um, you, you have every right to kneel or sit or do whatever you want during the national anthem. Um, you cannot mandate uh, patriotism, as Republicans like to say. Um, that's what fascists do. They, they demand that. So no, Roy Moore, uh, you're, you're first and foremost wrong about that. Second of all, you still clearly don't understand what these people are protesting. They're not protesting the anthem. It's not that they just don't like the lyrics or the music. Uh, they're not protesting the flag. They're not protesting the military. They are protesting because they believe there is a very serious problem in this country that has to do with the fact that police officers are murdering unarmed black people in this country. And they are. And that is what they're protesting. So get that through your disgusting little head first. And the other thing you need to get through your head, um, since clearly you have a history of not understanding it, is what exactly the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution is, what it means, what it contains. Uh, for those of you who do not know, Roy Moore uh, got on some very serious uh, problems, issues, uh, legal troubles years ago because he decided he wanted to have a tablet featuring the Ten Commandments um, at his courthouse. Um, that's illegal. That violates the First Amendment, just like most of the things that Roy Moore has decided to do throughout his career uh, also happen to do. You cannot have the Ten Commandments in a federally owned building. Unless, of course, you want to go ahead and throw in some monuments uh, to Judaism or Hinduism or uh, 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 the Muslim faith and atheists, of course, because the United States cannot uh, prop up or support one particular religion. That is what the First Amendment says. The First Amendment also says you have a right to organize peacefully. You have a right to protest, which is exactly what these NFL players are. So for somebody who served as the chief justice of a state Supreme Court, somebody who's currently running for senator in the state of Alabama, you sure don't seem to know very much or really anything at all about what is in the Constitution that you are trying to get elected to protect. Seems kind of counterintuitive and makes me question the intelligence of anybody that would come out and actively support such a, uh, an open moron as yourself. My advice to people in the state of Alabama is that if you actually cared about the Constitution, if you care about the rule of law, do not vote for Roy Moore. I'm not advocating on behalf of the Democrat, although I think he'd do a much better job, uh, Doug Jones. But it takes a special kind of stupid to think that a guy who doesn't understand what's in the Constitution should be elected to help protect. If you're thinking about subscribing to our channel, I strongly encourage you to do that. But if you're not thinking about subscribing, I would encourage you to start thinking about it and then once you're thinking about it, actually go and do it. You can see the subscribe button right there on the screen or if you're watching on a different platform, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire.